science time again and today we will study the different modes of reproduction of moss and ferns. The learning objective in today's lesson describe the different modes of reproduction of moss and ferns. So let's begin with a song. Come and sing with me. this word hand. How to do this? Just look for the words associated with sexual reproduction in flowering plants. You have one minute to do this. Good luck! up let's check your work we have sea dispersal fertilization egg fruit flower pollination sperm we have seed and unite so how many words have you found if you notice, those are the words that have something to do with sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Most of the plants on earth are flowering plants which are called angiosperms. You have learned that they reproduce with seeds that are contained in fruits. Can you name some of them? What about the non-flowering plants? How do they reproduce? There are some simple plants that don't bear seeds. They reproduce in the other ways. Can you guess which are they? Now take a look at this terrarium with many moss and ferns. Today, we're going to describe the different modes of reproduction of moss and ferns. So let's have our first activity. It's entitled Life Cycle of Moss. The problem is how do moss plants reproduce? The materials that you need picture of the life cycle of moss later on you will see that and the procedures study the picture of the life cycle of a moss number two identify their parts and number three think and analyze how they reproduce about the moss, let's watch this video. Mosses alternate between the haploid gametophyte and the diploid sporophyte during their life cycle. The sporophyte generation in bryophytes develops from the gametophyte. Sporophytes receive much of their nutrition from the gametophyte. Spores are produced by meiosis in the capsule of the sporophyte. The spore capsule ripens bursts and releases the spores. A spore germinates to form a protonema. The antheridium develops on the male gametophyte. Sperm form within the antheridium. 
The archegonium develops on the female gametophyte. An egg forms within the archegonium. Sperm are released from the antheridium and swim to the archegonium. Fertilization takes place inside the archegonium and a zygote is formed. The zygote divides by mitosis to form a new sporophyte in the form of a stalk and capsule. What part of the moss plants helps them to reproduce? Spores. Describe the mode of reproduction in moss plant. Is it sexual or asexual? Why? Both sexual and asexual reproduction. How do moss plants reproduce? Moss plants reproduce sexually by transmitting sperm from the male plant to the female and asexually when parts of the plant break off and form new plants. Now let's have our activity number two. This is life cycle of ferns. How do fern plants reproduce? The materials that we need, picture of the life cycle of fern, then the procedures. First, study the picture of the life cycle of a fern. Number two, identify their parts. And number three, think and analyze how they reproduce. Now let's take a look at this video that shows the life cycle of fern. Life cycle of fern. The plant body of fern is divided into root, stem, and leaves. Leaves are the only aerial part of plant body. Stem is represented by underground rhizome. Rhizome is densely clothed with numerous scales or ramenta. Leaves are large, compound, and look like a branch, hence named as frond. Each leaf has a short stalk called petiole. The pinny develop on main stalk called branches, which is the continuous of petiole. Leaflet with sporangia are known as sporophyllites. Sporangium bears large number of spores. The sporangia are aggregated in groups called sorbi. The spore is minute dark brown and tetrahedral in shape. Prothallus lies flat on the ground and bears many unicellular rhizoids. On the undersurface, Antheridia and Archegonia are born. Antherozoids swim in water by their cilia. One of the sperm fuses with the egg to form a zygote. It covers itself with the cell wall and is called oospore. The oospore divides and redivides to form the embryo. However, with the development of green leaf and root and with the decay of prothallus, sporophyte develops into an independent plant body. What part of the fern plants helps them to reproduce? Spores help the fern plants to reproduce. Describe the mode of reproduction in fern plant. Is it sexual or asexual? Why? Ferns utilize both sexual and asexual processes during reproduction. 
these spores are produced asexually through meiosis, so their genetic material is identical to that of their parent fern. When the environmental conditions are met, the spores germinate and grow into a tiny plant called a gametophyte. How do fern plants reproduce? Ferns use both sexual and asexual reproduction methods. In sexual reproduction, a haploid spore grows into a haploid gametophyte. The sporophyte produces spores completing the life cycle. Asexual methods of reproduction include apogamy, polyphorous front tips, and rhizome spreading. What reproductive part of moss and ferns are shown in the video clips? How does reproduction in moss and fern plants happen? Describe the modes of reproduction in moss and fern plants. Some plants reproduce without seeds. Sexual reproduction happens in spore-bearing plants such as mosses and ferns. In mosses, the leafy plants produce two branches, male and female. The female branches produce egg cells, while the male branches produce sperm cells. When a sperm reaches an egg in the sac, the two cells join into a single cell in a process called fertilization. This is called sexual fertilization. Mosses undergo both sexual and asexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, spores are produced and when released and land on damp ground, can grow into leafy moss plants. Ferns like mosses are spore-producing plants. Mature ferns produce fertile fronds with spore casing called sorry on the underside of their leaves. When it rains, sperms released from the male organs swim towards the female organs leading to the growing of young fern plants. Sexual reproduction takes place when the sperm cells unite with egg cells in the female organs. The fertilized eggs grow into new leafy fern plants. Moss and fern plants have economic importance. Do you agree? In what way can they be beneficial to you? What must you do? Now, it's time to take your quiz. Sequence the steps in the life cycle of moss plant and fern plant. Write 1 to 5 on the blank. A few minutes later. Okay, check your work. Congratulations for accomplishing this lesson. For your offline activity, draw the life cycle of moss and ferns in short band paper. That would be all for now. Thank you for learning with me. This is Teacher Marianne saying, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!